Hello there, everybody. This is Drunk Goomba 1645. Welcome back to more Let's Play Wave Race 64. Today, I'm actually going to be showing off time trials and stunt mode and close out this project. So, let's go ahead and get started. Select your watercraft. <sighs> and I'm doing this just because. Hmm. Ah, I'm doing time trials to show off the other racers. And another thing that's really interesting, time trials, you cannot access Dolphin Park. However, you can access it when uh, you're actually uh, playing stunt mode, so just thought I'd mention that too. Alright. I am not playing on uh, anything above normal, so just thought I'd mention that. As I mentioned before, this chick is more for the handling type, and... She has quite a quite a bit of acceleration, and her speed isn't too good. But still, she has really high handling as well. Even though I customized the wavecraft settings, but still, hmm, I set a new best time for the course. You know, new best lap. So that's cool, or maybe not. I don't know. I'm not really going for any new records here, so I just thought I'd mention that as well. And I'm going to be showing these guys off in order. And another thing with time trials and stunt mode, I'm not going to uh, actually show off, you know, all of them. I mean, I'm not going to show off all the tracks, but I will show off all the characters. And of course, I will be showing off stunt mode too. And I'm actually going to be using this chick for stunt mode because I know you've seen enough of the other guy who I've been using pretty much the entire time. Yeah, almost had the high score, or maybe not, I don't know. Yeah, 116. Not bad. It seriously wasn't bad. Alright, course select. Select Oops. your course. Select your watercraft, please. Yeah. Alright, time to adjust this guy, adjust this, uh, handling, and all their crap, Select so... Alright, now for the speed type. This guy. Of course I'm gonna be doing it on normal Three, as well. Two, one, Another thing that's really interesting, I'm recording this at the same time I recorded my last video, so... Oh, jeez! Uh. And... Okay, that was bad. Well, anyways, as I was saying, um, I'm recording this on the same time, and I wiped out again on the same exact thing. Uh, Alrighty, so, oh man, that sucks. Well, anyways, what to talk about today? Well, I'm not really sure. Okay, as for this guy... Like I've mentioned before, he is the speed type upon all the characters. Hmm. So, yeah, I just thought I'd mention that as well. He's the speed type, but he has pretty bad acceleration. He also has pretty good handling. But, again, I just adjusted his settings, and I made the same exact mistake again! Oh my god, what the F? There was a perfectly good reason why I didn't show this guy off during the championship mode and I just I just don't prefer to use this guy because well it's just it just handles a little weirdly in my opinion Ooh, 27 wow over 27 seconds ahead of uh, my best time on the course well that's to be ex expected because I did wipe out on the wall twice in a row so of course. Another thing... Oh wait. That's right. I'm playing on normal. It doesn't get... Give me access to the shortcut because... You know, it's only open on hard... Hard cup and up. No, hard course. Yeah, no. I did not. Whatever. We're finished here. Well, we're not finished entirely with the... Thing. So, of course, we... Craft select, select and select the... Uh, Heavy wave, so excellent. Adjust the same settings, and there we go. Select your course, please. Alright, here's another really interesting thing. 
Um, well, I saw this on a random YouTube video, and apparently this guy can actually dive underneath of here if uh, you hold down at the right time, and let's restart that. If you hold up long enough and dive under there, you can actually go underneath of that uh, little thing and you can get access to that little shortcut. But I think you have to adjust the settings to uh, particular points in order to do so, so... Yeah, just thought I'd mention that too. Well, as expected with the heavyweight character here, um... Well, he has pretty bad handling, but also has pretty good acceleration, and also pretty, really good speed, so... He is, uh, quite good for speed, but he is, uh... Yeah, he's not really one who, who I would like to use in the championship mode. But, again, it's just personal preference, and you can use anybody you want in championship mode, so... Yeah, just thought I'd mention that as well. Huh. I am hungry. The only thing I had today were Chex Mix and a couple of, uh, uh barbecue potato chips. Huh. And I know that's not good and that's not really breakfast, but... But still... <sighs> Man. Okay. What to talk about right now. I'm not really sure, actually. I rarely make double recordings, especially when it comes to live commentary. But, still, this time is an exception. But still, I don't do that all the time, make double recordings, but I just want to get this project done and pretty much finished, which is the reason why I'm pretty much, uh, you know, making a you know, another recording, but on the same recording as well, so... <sighs> that's the end of Time Trial. Let's move on to the last mode, the last playable mode that I'll be showing off, and that is Stunt Mode. Select your watercraft, please. <sighs> Select your basically, course. Stunt Mode, what it is... Um, basically, you pretty much, uh go through rings, and also do various tricks off of ramps as well. Ooh, I kind of, uh, meant, uh... I kind of meant, uh... Well... Yeah, I meant to get on top of my craft and stuff. Alright, nice flip! Woohoo, thanks! Alright, I beat the high score! Oh, all right. A new record! Excellent day! Awesome. I'm not really much who uh, plays stunt mode, and here are the silver slash white letters, and I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Obviously, I got the highest score here, so that's freaking awesome. Wow. The first high score. So, freaking awesome! <sighs> Select your course. Please. Actually, I'm thinking maybe I should show off the rest of the courses in stunt mode. You know what? I think I will. Three, you know, it wouldn't be complete if I, you know, didn't do that. Hmm. Ooh, nice. <sighs> Ah. In order to do pretty much the handstand, you have to pretty much uh, have to rotate the control stick in the clockwise fashion, and yeah, yeah, just thought I'd mention that as well. And also, depending on what, what time you finish, you also get time bonuses too, so, huh, well, I made a now I've gotten a high score, but still, I didn't do too badly. <sighs> Alright, next stop is Sunset Bay. Also, buoys and power-ups, yeah, they don't matter here. However, that 
however, does matter. What else to talk about now? I'm not really sure. Alright. If you happen to repeat a stunt, I've noticed that uh, you'll lose a little bit of points. Well, by that I mean, uh, you, uh... You just, uh... You just won't get as many points as, uh, you know, you normally would when you first do the stunt. Uh, so, just thought I'd mention that as well. Also, I'm sorry if I sound a little boring right now. I'm just trying to think of material as I'm going along. And just trying to think of things to talk about, but... Yeah. I just can't think of anything. I think the highest amount of uh, points you can uh, get in uh well, when you're going through rings and stuff. I think it's uh, about a thousand, maybe. Excellent. Yeah, excellent, indeed. Ah, oh, man. So, just go through as many rings as you possibly can in a row, and your points will continue to increase up to a thousand, I think. So, just thought I'd mention that as well. And another thing, I don't know every single trick in the book. I mean, I only know a couple of things, so... Yeah, I'm sorry I won't be able to show off every single trick, but still, things happen, and that happened apparently, so let's restart. Another thing with stunt mode, you can't afford to mess up here. So, yeah, if you mess up, well, you're, you're not really going to be able to make it to the checkpoint and be able to finish the race. So, I think when you first start, the race, you uh, have 20 seconds to actually get to the finish, but still, yeah. As you pass through checkpoints, you obviously get time extensions, depending on the distance between uh, that particular checkpoint and the next one, it, it pretty much determines what amount of time is given to you for the extension, so, ooh, got a second or third place for the high score, so awesome. I wonder what one I got. Third place. Okay, not bad. I don't care. Let's move on to the next course. Select. <sighs> At least now I don't have to pretty much put myself through uh, hell. Just uh. And now I can't remember how to do the backflip. That's just perfect. Huh. Hmm. Wow, that's pretty wicked. Oh, come on! That's not fair! Hmm. Okay, what am I gonna talk about? Really? Well, as of this video pretty much, showing off stunt mode and time attack, that's pretty much the last of the videos. You know, the last... This is the last video of uh, Wave Race 64, so... Yeah, just thought I'd mention that as well. You know, this is the last one. This is the end. I think I got third place. Yep, third place. Not bad. Select your court. Hmm. What to talk about now? I I'm not really sure, actually. Oh, jeez. Uh, so apparently, <clears throat> this person can't really, you know, do well going underneath of the place, so... Yeah. Then again, it probably is my settings that, of which I have the Watercraft set on, so... That's probably my fault on that. Another thing that's, uh, kind of, uh, weird... Um, I'm sorry to say that the 1080 was, uh, delayed. Ugh. Yeah, I accidentally revealed my, uh, you know, friendly appears exclusive. And yes, it is 1080 snowboarding. <sighs> I'll just announce it, and I'll just say that. Hmm. Alright. 1080 snowboarding is gonna be, uh, my friendly appears exclusive, exclusive Let's Play, and 
And that's pretty much going to be what I'm going to be concentrating on next. So, I hope you guys are looking forward to that. So, if you want to watch that Let's Play when it becomes available, and I'm planning on starting on March 8th, because that's the next Tuesday that's available. But, uh, anyways, if you want to watch that Let's Play, it's wise for you to subscribe to Friendly LPers, so... Subscribe to them, and, uh, well, hopefully, uh, you know, you'll enjoy what they got. Because I'm one of the members of there, and it would be really kind of you guys to actually watch some of the other members' Let's Plays as well, such as, uh, you know, one of my, uh, one of my, ah, I don't remember who it is, I think it's Assassin Man 13 but, uh, he has done a Let's Play of, uh, Sly Cooper and Athenius Raccoonus. I haven't watched all of it, well, just because I haven't really gotten around to doing so. I'm sorry I haven't watched all of it, I just, just haven't really found the time to do so. But, uh, well, anyways, <laughs> um, some other LPs that are going on as well in the friendly LPers, um, Let's see. Um, there's The Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past, and there's, uh... There's also some Pokemon games that are going on in there as well, but I don't remember. Another thing, not all the members have the highest quality of which I have. So, yeah, some of them may have a camera, maybe recording their Let's Plays through a camera, so... So... Just, uh, give them a break. Don't criticize them. Unless the quality's, you know, extremely bad. But, still, I haven't really watched them, so I can't say if they're bad or not. So, anyways, welcome to the options menu of Wave Race 64. Here you can, uh, change the names upon the characters if you like. You know, you can change the names of these characters however you like. You can, uh, even name one, uh, Ryan or... Hell, uh, Andy, or anybody, just think of a name and, uh, just give them the name and it'll be their name. Of course, you can always change their names back to their default names by, you know, just, you know, typing in their name. You know, and just hit default and just, uh, hit, uh, well, hit end. It's as simple as that. Now, let's view the records. You can view the records upon the courses, upon, uh, time trials, well, not only time trials, but the best time in general upon, uh, well, different courses throughout the game. I've already showed this off, kind of, during, uh, well, the cups and stuff like that as well. Alright, here's another really interesting thing. You can actually change the conditions upon, the uh, cups and everything, so you can change the wave conditions upon, uh, Normal course, hard course, or expert course. But now that I think about it, maybe you, uh... Now that I think about it, maybe... Yeah. I don't think this really affects the cups. And another thing, if you change the wave conditions upon the different courses, records will not be saved, so... Another... Just a warning right there, obviously, I stated at the bottom of the screen. Huh. You can also change the number of Miss Buoys as well, like if you have a default number of 5, you can change that from uh, highest to 5, lowest to 1. You can also change the number of laps as well, and the lowest number of laps, and its default is 3, and the highest is 9, so that's pretty much what it is. And if uh, you just want to change everything back, just hit defaults, and then uh, it's as simple as that. Alright, audio. You can adjust audio settings here. Stereo. Mono. Mono. Headphones. Yeah, headphones. Stereo. Yeah, mono, headphones, and stereo, and that's as simple as that. You can also turn the music on or off if you want. And just, uh, listen to music. You can, uh, come here and listen to any song in the game if you want. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. 
another thing, if you leave the audio section, the music just goes back to whatever it originally was. Alright, erase course records. Here you can uh, go, come here and erase certain records if you want, or all of them. Are you no, sure? I don't want to erase the Sunny Beach Time course record. So, yeah, you can also come here to erase score records as well, and also erase score records for Dolphin Park. Another thing, you can also come here if you like, say, if you're starting a Let's Play and, well, you just want a clean slate because you used the Game Shark in the past and have none legit score. So, you can come here, erase all the records, and pretty much start anew. So, yeah, just thought I'd mention that as well. Here, you can uh, save and load data, copy data from the game pack to the controller pack if you have one. Erase data from either location, and... Are oh no. Sure? Unable to find Wave Race 64 data. Oh. I didn't want to do that again, no. Huh. Hmm. <sighs> well, that's pretty much what it is. You can copy your data from, like, the watercraft and, uh... Well time records as well here as well. So, that's pretty much all options mode has to offer you, so that is the end of that. <coughs> Excuse me again. Well, I'm happy to say this is the end of Wave Race 64. I really have enjoyed this wonderful, wonderful game, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play as well. So be sure to pick up this game on the Virtual Console if you possibly can, or if you're you know, uh, N64 Junkie, um, just pick it off off of Amazon or eBay if you can possibly find it. So, this is Drunk Gumbo 1645 and I will see you guys next time for whatever it is I'm doing. And if you guys are interested, come on over to Friendly on Piers, and I hope you guys enjoy my, uh, Let's Play of 1080 Snowboarding, and other Let's Plays of which the other members have to offer. So, see you guys later!